All right, welcome back, everybody. So here we go. We're going to be checking out Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction. Now, I wanted to start off with some of the older games first, but uh, I was having some issues getting them to work. I even tried GOG. The only one that you can get working on GOG was the original one, and I was semi able to get that one working myself also, uh, but it still had a lot of issues. Um, so the first one I was able to get working uh, without many issues was Conviction. Now, Conviction is a pretty old game. I believe it came out in like 2010. I did not know that. Um, but yeah, we're going to check it out. We're going to, you know, kind of right now, if you guys know, we're playing some Ghost Recon on the channel, uh, Wildlands Breakpoint. And we just started episode two in Breakpoint where we started working with Sam Fisher. So I found it fitting. You know, we're working with Sam. Why not jump back into Sam's past and kind of get an idea of who he is and, you know, what it means to be, you know, a splinter cell in the echelon and all that stuff. So I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are. Remember, if you guys want this to be ongoing, uh, I, I'm kind of just doing episode right one right now to see how it kind of plays out. Um, if it's something that you guys are enjoying, then, and you know, you're, you're smashing a like button and stuff like that, we'll continue it as a series. Maybe even try Blacklist after this. But, uh, Initially, yeah, we're just going to start off with this and see how it goes and see what you guys think. So uh, let me get this going. Uh, this one was even kind of a little finicky, too, to get working, but <laughs> I got it working. You guys will see right here. It pops up, and it'll say that I have the uh, – my. I think my operating system is not supported. Oh, yeah, right here it says operating system not supported, and then it's like, would you like to continue? It didn't come downstairs, and then it pops up again. So yeah, it pops up and says operating system not uh, not supported, but uh, you know, my operating support system should definitely be supported. <clears throat> I'm excited about this one, though. All right, there we go. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Oh, new game. Um, What difficulty should we play on, guys? Should we go, like, realistic? Let's go realistic. Screw it. What's the worst thing that'll happen? I'm probably going to regret this decision, ain't I? <laughs> oh, wow. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. I I don't I don't know why the stream is lagging so bad. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. I 
I don't know if that's going to fix it. We'll see. Give me a sec. Old old game turned the PC into a... <laughs> uh, it, I think it's more of a uh, internet thing than it is... Uh, like a, it's, it's a YouTube issue, not so much a uh, game or system lag or anything like that. Uh, I lowered it down to 1080p because I guess maybe maybe YouTube's just receiving a, a lot. Uh, I might even if, if depending on how this goes, if it doesn't go away, I might decrease my bit rate to a bit. Hold on, give me a sec. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I got everything set up good. Uh, should be no more issues. At least what I think. I lowered my bit rate down to an absurdly low amount. Uh, and I went ahead and changed it to 1080p only. So, sorry guys. For those of you guys that enjoy watching in 1440. But right now, we're going to have to lower it. Uh, let me know. Is everything good? All right, so once again, we'll get back in the game, see if everything stays good. And I'm actually going to, we'll, we'll restart the, uh, I, I take it that everybody probably missed a bunch of the intro cutscene, so we're going to restart. Uh, just so we can, everybody can get that, that full cutscene, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Uh, let's see if it starts it over again. There Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to... Make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. The she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew. Is that that Victor left guy from America Breakpoint? And mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been... That is Victor, right? He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Rob, thank you so much for the re-up on the Hardened Survivor membership. That is Sam. huge, brother. Thank you, Who thank you. you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life, we can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. What is that, a drone? Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position. And from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. 
Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Okay, so it feels pretty good. Let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like being out here with no freaking backup. What the guys aren't, huh? You think of that? Yeah. I'm there. Get some Hang on. Backup I'm tapping into here. the city's power grid. All That'll right. let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Yeah. At least we know the guys are alone. Twenty years ago? So this is young Sam. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. And hey, when your father lives when it's in the light, dark. you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it. Maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Come here, check it, check. Big cover. Come out and show yourself, fuck face. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Now you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now Shit. you're talking. Uh, to execute, you first need to do a hand-to-hand -hand kill. Press C to perform a hand-to-hand -hand kill. All right. Uh, they give you the ability to execute. Aim. Q. Oh, fucking animal, dude. Sarah, baby, don't look. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. A civilian? No. Hello, who's putting the bills on this one? Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this? Yo, that shit is OP, dude. 
What? I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back end of the market, left us here with our thumbs up our asses. Not happening. Back's all blocked off. He's gotta come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Okay, so I call him Mark I One Target right now. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. So that's the guy we wanna see. interrogate? We take him out. Get the reward money Gramkos is promising for him. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh, just hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You wanna know, send me? It's Colbin. Andre Coben <coughs> runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. <coughs> He's crazy. Man, I'm fucking crazy, dude. daughter used to brag about it you know uh, heard you were coming so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him you should refund his money where do i find him you don't understand oh he killed me <clears throat> on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Oh. Well, Sam's kind of a beast, guys. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. I can't believe this game was from 2010. Use it to peek under doors. Josh, how you doing? I'll look at the bottom of the... Okay. And zoom. 
So you guys, this is a stealth game right here. Oh, we don't, we don't got it. You don't. You don't have to do all that. Okay, so we just got to find our way in. Alright, so I'm wondering if we could probably go through that side door there. Okay, front door is not an option. So it looks like this door is going to stay. I wonder if I could. I don't know if you can shimmy. Let's say Sam is like the master of like shimmying, isn't he? I don't think you could shimmy around this though. So what's on the schedule? Right, we'll try on the other side. It seems like there's a guy right here at this doorway. No, no, that's not what I said. Oh, you could start car alarms, too. Would you please listen to me? Fucking snitches, dude. There is fire. You're fucking dead. We'll restart. The the snitches, dude. Snitches. I should have killed them all. Not what I said. Right, here we go. Yeah. Serious about this one. Maybe they know that Coben's slipping. Well, the way he's been powdering his nose, it's hard not. Pretty dark over here. God, I, it's the last one. Yeah, that's if we get it out of here. I don't know if they'll be able to see me. Coben's not going to go anywhere near it. No, he's going to stay locked in here. Yeah, the guys are going to make the delivery. Sad. Coben's on his game. He's a smooth operator. I know that that Russian game. Holy shit! Fuck, it's Fisher! Shit, shit! Fuck, man! It's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? We used them like ten. Probably want the new flavor. No, I mean the list. We put it all down on the side of the list. I'm all by. Big deal. What will be asking for this time. Yeah, everything, I think. Slow. Oh, yeah. So there we go. We want the darkness. Ah, oh, Jake, I'm sorry. That shit sucks, man. Hey, 
Okay. Gun here. Uh, M500. So we have a shotgun and we got our handgun. But we're going to try to keep this quiet. As you guys know, Ma I'm a stealth master. I think this guy's on the ledge by himself. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA, KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Colbin cleaned them up. Colbin cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are... They just called it in. Get the ground coast the messed up. So, what does this mean? He is something. He will bleed out if you shoot him. We have a fucking army up here. One man, no matter how good, is not getting in here. Oh, yep. oh, look at Mr. Big Shot. You really don't give a shit, do you? How many people try to get in here? Hmm? Maybe hold up Cobin, maybe steal something, maybe kill him. I was say, I could probably go up on that pipe. What? Can, can you? All dead, just like but the this. problem is the pipe Big ends right there. I just drop each of these dudes, right? Whoa, man. Ah. Fuck, man. Jesus Christ. What's in your head, Fisher? Oh, it's gray until you're close enough. Okay, so the execution, I just have to be close enough. Got you. Of course no harm, no foul. That was that was rough right there, guys. No, no, that's not what I said. These guys aren't idiots. Game, was smoother than throwing the guy out the window. Doors yeah, with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I should tell you, should always have at least one older slash retro game member. Too. This is nostalgia. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. This is awesome. Everything up here. Yo. Shit. Are those four strikes? Roger, keep it going. 
bad. Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else down there. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA, KGB. Get this room looks like. Bring two bottles of each. I saw him cry today. Then he started laughing, and then he screamed, and he shot up the wall, saying he sold him out. It's getting scary up there, man. Yeah, he's the one who's scared. He doesn't have any balls, so he gets high. The guy's getting unpredictable. That ain't good in a box. Shit. Yeah, you may think he's... But if someone busts in here, he's gonna get down on his knees and cry. Wonder if you could, uh... You never know. You have to go there, huh? You really have to go there. Whatever. I'm just Would saying. you shut up, both of you? No, man. I'm getting a feeling here. Yeah. Coven is in way over his head for this one. And if he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, uh, man, I like you better than you were talking about the brain. Someone took out the chandelier! Damn, you're doing a bunch of... I keep hitting spacebar to go to cover and instead of holding um, right mouse button. It's such a weird button to push to take cover. So shooting that Sandalier was not a good idea. I aggroed up the whole place. I'm playing on uh, realistic. It's pretty tough. But yeah, you got to hold... Right mouse. He's there. He's there. Keep this fucker. Go. Did that four times and we're fine. Of course. I guess I didn't see. Uh, depending on how this does, you know, if if you guys are engaging and enjoying this, yeah, we'll try blacklist. What? No. No, that's not what I said. We just gotta be. We gotta get out of Ghost Recon and, and get into Splinter Cell mode. Completely different beast. It's really bad. Game. He's a smooth operator. I heard that that, that Russian gig went down sweet. Yeah, Fisher guy's got him spooked bad. He was Fisher's dead on wheels. You gotta wonder what Coben did to piss him off so bad. I used to brag about him. Did a hit and run on the guy's daughter, got away clean right before he showed up here. If Fisher's here, he didn't get away clean. Well, that's what I think he just figured out, which would explain all the uh. Here we go. Um, Quincy, yeah, that was my plan. I can't get him to work on the 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 older games. I have a really really hard time running on my PC. Um, I've already tried it. There's only one out of Chaos Theory and all those ones that like Double Agent that even work. Even the GOG site only has Splinter Cell on it because the other two just don't work on newer hardware. Cause yeah, I went ahead. I bought all the other ones. Can't get him to work. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian group. Open it. Open it. Open it. I just called it in. Gramco Smith. Shit! What the hell is this? What the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are pussies. You get anything off the body? No, I heard you were into fingerprint ID. Well, unless you're the owner, you can't sell it, and you can't use it. Besides, the goggles are covered in brain. You had to go there, huh? You really had to go there. I'm just Would saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting a feeling here. Coven is in way over his head for this one. If he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, man, I liked you better when you were talking about the brains.
Yo, Sam is way... See, can we go anywhere with this? No. We got a guy coming up top. I think somebody's about to check on that body. Did I grab that shotgun from last time? I think it was in this room. Not that I. Any news on Fisher, guys? Besides the shipment, he's priority number one. Right here. I'm pretty sure you can remap the buttons. Um, the way it's set up, though, there is no aim. Like, you don't. You don't... Like, you could, like, zoom. I guess you can, like, consider that aiming. Uh, let's go with control options, customize controls. Cover, switch to this. Or no. Uh, Alright, let's see how that feels. So yeah, if I hold right, right mouse now, it does this, which is, I, I can get on board with that. Um, and then to take cover, I just have to hold this. Yeah, feels better. I'm gonna switch this though. Okay, so it seems like the two guys left. Weapon stash. A uh, weapon stash just allow you to select and upgrade your weapons and gadgets. Oh, nice. Okay, so right now we're using we have the MK uh, twenty, yeah, MK twenty three equipped. And we have the M five hundred as our alternate weapon. So the MP4646 is more accurate, less power, but we're going for headshots anyways. So I, I think I'd actually ha rather have accuracy over power. And it holds more ammo.
Problem with the deagle is you can't suppress it, right? Alright, so let's equip this. I got a thousand points available, so I don't know... Okay, so these are like, uh, gadgets. Extra weapons. Yep, and that's the alternate weapon we have right now. I don't have any other alternates. Alright, and then it says upgrade, so let me see what we can do. Um... Oh shit, nice. So we can add a reflex sight, we can add a laser, which increases the accuracy of the weapon. And we can go match grade ammo. I have a thousand points, so we're, let's actually just do all that. Boom, boom, boom. Fully geared out handgun. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, come on. The sooner we get this loaded up, the sooner we get it to the Americans at the airport. The sooner we do that, the sooner we get paid. How we doing? But ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any Let's idea? Stay in the dark. Gobin trusts him. The Americans don't. That's why they're going to the ride, I guess. Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You got that loaded? Check. Crate? Yeah, check. Port material? Whoa, man! Big crate? Check. What about that? Check. That stuff? Trying to see how people react. Uh oh. This is like prime uh, splinter cell, like climbing on pipes and shit. Could you imagine if you could do this type of stuff in a Ghost Recon game too? Death from above? Oh, yeah, we don't want that smoke. Wait, why did it tell me to climb? I don't want the smoke. Well, I could actually, I kind of do want this smoke a little bit. Copy that. Can't hit it from here. <laughs> Unless the game wants me to do that. Where's Fisher now? Guys, I've got a problem here. Shit, man. I bet it's that the Fisher area is clear. Let's yeah. move to the next one. We've got Coleman to warn us about it. See you for 
pussy. Show your face. Oh, shit. Fuck, who did this? Nothing so far. Spread out and keep an eye on I've fucked here somewhere. Shit, find shit. That's it. It's gotta be over there. You want some fisher, motherfucker? Okay, let's go. Sure it's you. <laughs> It's like fighting a ghost, dude. Pistol has terrible a a uh, accuracy, though. It's like, doesn't matter if you're aiming at the target or not, it just, it, it's just bad from that range. Yeah, I already modded this weapon. I put a laser sight on it. I put a new uh, optic on it. Okay, so new uh, gadget. Press F to throw an EMP grenade. They temporarily turn off all lights and stun enemies for a brief moment. Good. So this is what it means to be a splinter cell kind of guys. It's like fighting against a ghost. I mean, I'm doing really bad at it, but you okay, earn points, upgrading your weapons. Yeah, yep. Obviously, we have to unlock new weapons. Oh, yeah, we just got the MP grenades. Oh, 
should have peeked under. Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> so it's just those three? Okay, there's one guy over there, too. I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? That moment you think you're scared, you're, you're, you're being sneaky, right? And they shoot you off the building. Can't get around this way. You, uh, Anton, go check it out. See what's going on behind that door. I didn't get that clear yet. Boss, I don't see anything.
Probably EMP. Drop these two dudes right here. Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. I wonder if I could. See if we can smash him on the piano. Just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't I tell I can you. Get on this table. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. the ones you should be worried about right now you don't get it Fisher they're bigger than you they're bigger than me don't you see they told me you were coming drop it Fisher drop it down Jimmy you won't be hurt Sam we need to go with them the hell I do please Trust me on this one. Is that the if homies? You're talking to the Ice Queen Fisher. I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the air! Nice and easy! Man, Are... this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, some other. Are these all Echelon dudes? I'll be happy when we drop off so we can heal you. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, Price sir. Price Airfield, Old Tavern, Virginia. Extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. 
He's awake. Fuel isn't free, man. Colonel Prentice, Major Robertson. We don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good. Keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grim's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Here it is. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand in hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Yeah. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. He ain't gonna hit her. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. He might hit her. What do you know about her? Oh, wait, the game wants me to really hit her, dude? I mean, this game came out in 2010. So we're talking, this is a 12 year old, almost 13 year old game. And I mean, for 13 years old, I think it still looks pretty damn good. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, damn. I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you. Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Did I kiss her or fucking hit her? Oh, fucking definitely hit her. Okay. I... There it is. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Now one more. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T208. It's not believing I believable enough. I locator chip, so third echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. 
I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. So wait, 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 wait. So we gotta go up against Echelon, like all the splinter cells? I thought I played this game before. I don't remember this one, though. I know I played Blacklist, but I thought I played this one before, but this shit ain't very familiar to me. I don't remember a game about his daughter. We got the MP5 as our primary right now. Oh, we got some C4. Grim, I've got the package. Good. Now here's the plan. They may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site. That means they don't need to. They'll just blow me off the road. We're far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. If I could climb up through this window. Hangers are clear. One hundred percent full coverage. Let it settle through another pass. There's no second chance with this stuff. Think it's really gonna work? Don't know. But I don't want to be the guy flying this thing who finds out the hard way that it did it. It's not gonna dry quick enough. It better. We're field testing and stuff sooner than I thought. Better keep laying on this thing. We've been close for the night. Beginning to do what's your location? Okay, so I can't climb the pipe from this side. Crazy how quick those dudes can see you. The screen looks gray because that means I'm in the darkness where they can't see me.
Grim, I've taken care of the chopper. Now I need to take down the field's electrical grid. Good call. Black Arrow jury rigged the hell out of the original system when they converted the airfield from civilian use. So it's vulnerable. The power relays are probably the weakest point. Where do I find them? One of the barracks had one put in, exposed inside the building. And that's my best bet. Nice, so weapon stash. Let's see if we could customize this MP5 at all. He put a suppressor on it. No. I mean, I could dress it up to do more damage and stuff, but... Oh, maybe we'll dress it up just in case. Is there any way? So when you would use these weapons, pretty much you're, that that means my cover's blown and I'm I'm gonna shoot out. So I guess it doesn't really matter. We could dress it up. Attention all personnel, the mess hall is now closed until further notice. All personnel are reminded that non-essential use of staff vehicles is forbidden. Anyone found using field-rated vehicles for private purposes will be subject to formal discipline. Andy with the super chat, brother. Play this one first relief, love and respect. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. So the enemy is way more uh, observant than I would have initially thought. Attention all personnel. The mess hall is now closed until further notice. And we don't have a drone or anything like that, so there's the only uh, intel we're gathering is on the ground with our eyes. We've got two guys in the front here. Jesus Christ, dude. These dudes are no joke, man. Like, literally, no joke. Attention all personnel. The mess hall is now closed until further notice. So we just got a regular ass grenade. Still clear. All personnel, all personnel. The ordnance inventory is now complete. Get 
I think we're good. Open the window here and we'll sneak inside. Thank you guys for almost 300 likes, too. I do appreciate it. about three guys inside, right? Oh, this gun, I can only do two marks. Should have switched to my other handgun. I didn't even think about it, guys. I just thought I already had it. I didn't know Sam killed so many people, guys. I thought he was more like super, super sneaky, dude. But Sam just seems like a killing machine. Like a super, super sneaky killing machine. Don't you worry. Come on, come get me. I'm right here. Don't make me come looking for you. I'm gonna catch you, motherfucker. You hear me? Every barrack and every shelter in my house. 
Did you see that? It must have come from over there. How you like this, asshole? I've got something for you. There it is. Grim, the dish is taken care of. Then let's get you out of here. My car is outside the gate. All the pursuit vehicles are inside. Attention, attention, all personnel. There's an escaped prisoner inside the compound. Well done. He is to be considered armed and hard. dangerous. Report to your security positions immediately. You were clear to use deadly force. That's a good that's a good one I never thought about right there. Which one, chat? Snake or Sam Fisher? Who, who do you guys who do you who do you guys give the W to? Snake or Fisher? Give me one second. That's pretty split. Fisher, no contest? So you guys are saying snake. Sam, bad it news. Sarah's fine, but I have to push back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line.
Sam, bad news. Sarah's fine, but I have to push back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. This music's weird as hell, dude. It's like a fever dream, man. I was... Fever dream. Almost like some Max Payne shit, isn't it? With like the writing on the wall and the the little kids in the background. That's over. So now the pursuit team shouldn't be able to follow us. Vic, it's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. Uh, if you're asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? I thought you'd recognize the sound. Remind you of anything? Yeah. I rank. Yo, Sam. How's your little girl? She's doing fine. I got a picture from her in the mail. I think her mom helped her draw. Nice. My kids don't draw me pictures or write or anything. They don't write because you can't read, man. <laughs> Laugh it up. But when I get out of here... Hey, you're going to kindergarten. You know, I hear they got entrance exams at kindergarten now, Sam. I don't know if Vic's going to make it in. <laughs> trusted me because of what we'd been through together in the Gulf. That's why he called me after Third Echelon did their little number on him. He needed someone to watch his back. I didn't know Victor and Sam served together. That's crazy. I, I thought when the, cause the way Victor came across in the uh in the newest uh, in Breakpoint, he seemed more like a handler type of dude, or like a... 
Klatsky, this is Wofford Base. We've got a UAV showing two men down, and your squad leader missing in pursuit KIA. Find cover and hold your position. We'll come get you. So I'll take it this is before Sam's days in the, uh... I am ordering you to wait for evacuation. Do you read me? This is before Sam's days in Echelon. This is back in the Gulf War. He obviously seems like he was still so Ooh. Ooh. Did not know we would have a scope. What kind of gun do we got? So just a regular handgun? Bobby, it's going good. It's kind of got the same movement system as uh, Future Soldier. Almost out of ammo. Unless I can pick up ammo off of these dead guys. Or unless I my shit's full. I don't know. guys over there.
I don't know somebody. This AK's got a uh, ACOG on it. Yo, did they even have ACOGs in the Gulf? Gulf War? I know they didn't have no fucking ACOGs on AKs in the Gulf War. Cause we just started getting AKs or um, ACOGs in like 2008 as primary optics. See, this is more ghost recon. Yeah, Sam at this point feels more like a ghost than he... they're saying does anybody know what they're saying Oh, 
Ahuna? Matata? No, that's Akuna Matana. I guess Sam was a beast even before he became Echelon, guys. Hence the reason he went into the Echelon. One said, get out and fight like a real man. Really? <laughs> there it is. I thought I fought those dudes pretty straight up with honor. Hey, what's your name, fucker? Tell me the name of your unit, you son of a bitch. Hey, tell me your orders, you piece of shit. Where are you going, you huh? Tell me your orders, bitch. If you don't tell me what I want to know, my friend's gonna have a little game with you. Go fuck yourself. I'll be here I'll when deal you with him. Oh, we weren't even playing this, Sam. When's backup coming? That was Victor? Question. Waffle base. This is Husky. I got two for a ride out of here. Husky, this is Wolford base. You are one lucky son of a bitch. We'll have a bird in the air as soon as we can pinpoint your location. Roger that, Wolford. We are at... We gotta move! RPG. Good. Husky, this is Bob. 
Baldwin, you still down there? Watch your ass, Basilic! Why don't you boys sit your asses down and we'll come get you? We're not going anywhere. See that, Sam? We're getting out of here! Thanks for coming back for me, Nick. You don't leave a brother behind, Sam. You don't leave family. That op started a change in Sam. One that would take years to really show itself. Years of figuring out what that change meant. But Sam's deal with Grimm meant he needed intel on EMPs and Black Arrow right now. Sam never asked for the little things. Which meant this was big. Guys, thank you the for almost 400 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. We picked the National Mall, public space, lots of crowds for cover, open approaches. It made life tricky for the spotters. I could dodge them. And Sam, he could find them. And he did. It's not a secret that we know each other, Vic. They're watching you, hoping to catch me. I think I'm insulted. You better take them out quietly so we can talk before they get back up. What else is new? I'm serious, Sam. If they spot you or the crowd does, the meat is off. It's okay, baby. Too much heat. It's not that much money. Now get to it. Okay, so eliminate cost tails in dark areas while any civilian witnesses. Oh, we're. Sorry, no reason. I mean, that sounds a little difficult, guys. <laughs> that sounds a little difficult. Funds. Please. No just remember, you. people, cost isn't the target. He's just the bait. It's power. Wait for him to lead us to There's Fisher, no then let me know, and while I'm back up down here so fast, it'll make your head spin. Got it? Kidding. Oh. Good. Oh, yeah. So the tails these dudes with the axes? Hey Sam, I'm being tailed here. Black Arrow wants to crash our party. It's not a secret that we know each other, Vic. They're watching you hoping to catch me. I think I'm insulted. You better take them out quietly so we can talk before they get back up. No what else is new? Serious, it's okay, baby. Don't make a scene. They so spot you or the crowd <laughs> does the meeting. Too advantage. much heat. Now get to it. No way. Remember, people, cost isn't the target. Just the bait. Wait for him to lead us to Fisher, then let me know, and while I back up down here so fast, it'll make your head spin. Got it? Good. What? Got it! Why are you following me? I wasn't! I wasn't following you! I swear! Talk to me about Victor Cost. He's just this guy! I swear, I, I, I don't know anything else. See if we can get behind that guy. Last chance to win a prize, fellas. Last chance. Don't worry about the guy crouching around, it's fine. Bye. 
like I said, pal, the Tony out there can play a season but I can't do a preview. I spent 30 bucks on this stupid game already? For that much money, you owe me a free round. You hear me? You owe me. I'm happy to give you the request. It pays for If not, I can't help you. Let me give you a quick count. You don't want to brag, but I'll try to get some time. Looking for me? Oh crap! You're Fisher. Don't hurt me! I don't know anything. Tell me about your plans for me and their cost. Oh, fuck, Fisher. I was supposed to call it in when we saw you. Backup's waiting, ready to take you in. Time for a change of plans, then. Good, that was all of them. Vic, I've taken care of your admirers. Then we got a window before the handlers figure out they're done and send friends. If we're gonna do the face-to-face -face thing, we gotta do it now. You know the area around the monument? Yeah. Should get a birdie at the stake. There's a standalone booth right in front. Meet me there, I'll let you in. Last ride, folks. Sure. Last ride. Wow. Make it the most amazing one of the night. That's right, there is still one chance left. You see this suit? Yeah, yeah, I recognize him after I saw that documentary. No, it's a company called. Oh, is that like the Washington Monument? So majestic. GG. Spotters had to have backup. So we'll go over to basics here, cover the rest by phone. Sounds good. Look in the bag, you'll find your favorite pistol. I didn't get you anything. Shut up, Sam, there's no time. You'll also find something I borrowed from a buddy over at DARPA. It's a portable EMP generator. Low intensity, short range. The bag's shielded so you can stash your gear in there, but uh, hit the trigger. You'll fry everything around you to use as juice. Nice. What else do you have for me? Uh, there's a file in the bag, but here's the short version. There's an R&D house called White Box, a DOD contractor that does work on EMP technology. So? So, six months ago, they suddenly contract out all their security to those assholes over at Black Arrow. Now, that's a breaking pattern for them. They don't do corporate security. And based on what you told me about them... There might be a connection. Bingo. It's slim, but you've gone fifth freedom based on less. All right. Time for you to go. And you ping me when you reach safe distance, and we'll talk more about White Box before you go in. Will do. Stay safe, Vic. By order of the Department of <laughs> Public Works, this fair and the museum are now closed. We have detected a gas leak on site. Everybody is to leave the fairgrounds in an orderly fashion immediately. Come on, Sam Beefy. <laughs> Attention. 
Attention, attention. There's a gas leak on the site. For your safety, we need you to proceed to your cars in an orderly fashion immediately. I repeat, this is for your safety. We're city workers, Mr. Fisher. We're here to protect you. Show yourself. We fixed the gas leak, sir! You can come out! Shoot that guy! Oh, I was at the airfield, you son of a bitch! You wanna hide the shadow leak? Now I see you, bitch! You're my shooting game! That's not how I intended that to go. I literally went to move and actually I picked my head up for half a second and the guy saw me. Really nice gun. What is a 5.7? So I got three. Hold on, chap. Wanted to test that out. Show me how you did it back at the airfield, Fisher. You left us at the airfield to come to the fair? Come on, Fisher, it can't be. Son of a bitch, fuck! He's dead. Ah! Oh. The bear's close to you. Gun doesn't have very good range. Stay in 
cover, guys! No way we're going in there! No way we're sticking! <laughs> We're good. All those years you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. the hell is that? When so Sam betrays us again? Help, I wasn't gonna say no. He'd always been more the lone wolf type, and he needed a little reminder on the value of sticking your neck out. After the fun and games at the monument, Sam headed to White Box. The goons who bought the place had already gotten what they wanted out of it, and were moving it off site. Becca, thank you for the membership. He didn't care what they were taking out. He wanted to get in. Not that a double-walled EMP containment structure has a lot of back doors. He just needed one. Okay, so let's check out our weapon stash here. Yeah, yeah, 5-7. Uh, let's upgrade it. Okay, so the 5-7's fully kitted. Ooh, here we go. We got an MP5 with the uh, MP5 SD. This gun's actually in uh, State of Decay 2 also. It's part of the, what is that? The critical response pack, I believe it is. Dave up. Better get some more. Uh... Oh, and it has a nice little scope on it. There it is, chat. Yo, Sam feels so basic, though, not having a drone. <laughs> I'm like, yo, we need a drone, dude. Come on, Sam. So, Vic, how do I get in this box? Look for an industrial air exchanger on the side of the building. Breach it, then go for their security monitoring setup downstairs. Your next objective should be easy to pick out once you've accessed the camera feeds. Famous last words. many people here in the parking lot so we're good why don't we you know it's crazy we don't have nvgs man like nvgs isn't like that sam fisher's whole like thing
That's dope. You can like aim above the cover and stuff. Yo, I I miss this style of infiltration shit. You know what I mean? We're like climbing up walls and. Okay, I thought I'd be able to climb up that, but no, the, the fins are like aiming downward. I guess. Yeah, this is definitely a different feel than being a ghost. Notice on uh, your view when you play SOD2, you get eight, nine hundred viewers. Other games drops to like. Uh, it, it all depends. Yeah, I mean, State of Decay was the game I built my my YouTube channel around. Um, so it, it always in the past did really, really well. For a while there, though, it didn't. That wasn't the case. Actually, uh, State of Decay was not the highest viewing game anymore. There was pretty much anything I played would, but. We haven't played it in a while, so a lot of people are really happy. But, I mean, this game is viewing really, really well. You know, we've had almost 600 viewers in here. That you guys freaking got. We almost got 500 likes. I really appreciate the support. Like I said, uh, I, I kind of just threw that, this out there for tonight. I didn't know if you guys would actually be interested in, you know, me playing it. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys do want this to be a series and, you, you know, you want me to finish the whole game and even maybe play some Blacklist... Uh, then yeah, just yeah, just keep smashing that like button. Make sure you guys are interacting with the content, and there it is. Security room. So let's snake the door. So we got three guys inside. We do got the portable EMP. Tried to, yeah, that, that was, no. <laughs> that was a big no. hell did I not kill that dude? Oh, same, Aravin. I can't wait either, man. Security. 
It happens all the time, particularly with projects at this security clearance. I just don't trust this Galliard guy. I mean, yeah, we got bought out and he didn't lay anybody off, but it still bothers me. You just don't like the fact that his guy Robertson's holding all the data. Exactly. We can't cross-reference, we can't collaborate. What's he doing with it? Probably nothing. <laughs> Maybe you better switch to decaf. Ha ha. Very funny. I'm telling you, we're not getting the amplification effect that we're looking for. What about the readings on run 1994? Robertson seemed keen on those. Robertson isn't qualified to interpret the data, even if he is collecting all of it. I'm thinking those were statistical noise. I think you're being too quick to dismiss the results. I think I've been working here 18-hour days for the last month and a half, and I'm not gonna wish cast results because I wanna wrap up and go home. Whatever. You're leaving half our results on the table. We're meeting our deadline. Deal with it. Back up with the two months. Thank you so much. Uh, Grass up 450 likes. I appreciate that. Okay, so is that where we need to go? Don't Talk to me. me. Zach, how you doing? Don't kill me. Answer my questions and we'll see. What are you working on that requires this kind of lockdown? Electromagnetic pulse countermeasure stuff for DARPA, mostly. Or we were. Since Robertson got here, it's been all project-driven. Robertson? What's his deal? You mean besides letting Black Arrow take over the lab? 
He collects all the experimental data and wipes it off the rest of the systems. It's bad for workflow, and only he can see the big picture of what we're working on. What about Lucius Galliard? Where does he fit in? <laughs> He's my boss. The owner of the company, and the guy who hired Black Arrow and Robertson to do security. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to relieve Robertson of that data. Can you get me in? I could get you into the elevator. Good. Do it, then get out. I think I'd rather stay. But some of my friends, they might need my help. Maybe I can... Good luck. Yeah, the, well, that's the thing about the five seven. I think the five seven shoots. It's almost equivalent to like I think like five five six the projectile size. The big round. Uh, it's actually the handgun. I'm I'm, I'm gonna get. Help. Yeah, I, I was gonna buy a five seven, but the only the only thing I'm worried about is like wearing it on me. I, I don't know how big. I've never held one in real life, uh, so I don't know how if it's like a really really bulky gun or not. That's all I'm worried about is if the gun's too big, because then when you're wearing it, it's just uncomfortable. Killing all the scientists, dude. It does have a bulky handle. Yeah, because I was like, oh, if, if I had it, then I'd probably have to shoulder holster it. Uh, but you can't always just wear a shoulder holster, depending, you know, if, especially if it's like summertime and stuff. It's harder to pull off shoulder holsters in a state New like New York, because in New York, we have to conceal carry all of our handguns. Um, and trying to pull a shoulder holster off would be a fucking pain in the ass. In the summertime. <laughs> you need a bunch of suits. <laughs> you don't have to do this. No shit shit shit. Okay. Goddamn nerd. Can't even die like a man. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I wonder if I could have saved those guys. So this office looks clear. Brother, you tried. Daniel's stream is going great, man. Look at the company, uh, Keltec. They have a 5.7 handgun that holds 50 rounds. That's super illegal in New York, though. We're not allowed to have only anything over uh, 10 rounds. That that goes for handguns, rifles, everything. Have to be your max. Have to all be pinned at 10. It sounds like fun, though. <laughs> I think we're okay. Wait, I wonder if we could have saved those scientists for real, though.
These dudes are savages, man. Literally killing all these civilians. Seem pretty stupid to me. Nice try, Yo, that portable EMP though, that shit is super OP. Get up here. Ken. Gucci is hairy. I'll fuck anybody. <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm saying, though. What it says, Chess, she was like, she was trying, but my brain can process what no, I'm saying. You no, but it says Mike Who Cheese Harry, Alpha Kenny Body. That that's that's what it says. But you could just hear it, Alpha Kenny Body. Alpha Kenny Body. But when I say it, guys, does it sell, sound like I'm saying Alpha Kenny body? Like Alpha Kenny body? Or do you guys hear the bad words? Go right said the bad words, dude. <laughs> so how do we unlock? Uh, so do you get new guns by just playing the game or do you have to pick them up 
off of the enemies because I haven't been even like checking the enemies for guns. But this MP5 is pretty decent, so I don't want to lose it. Sam, I know you're inside White Box. I can help. Just let me know when you reach Robertson's system. So you heard everything. What a surprise. But now you're supposed to have good news about Sarah. She's on the line. That's why I called. Make it quick. Dad? Sarah, is it you? Are you okay? They told me you were dead, Dad. They told me that you'd been killed. They told me the same thing about you. I... I... Sorry, Sam. Time's up. Graham. Later. You've got work to do. Setting us up, dude. Sam is kind of a beast, guys. Like, legit, he's an actual beast. I'll put the stock on the MP5. Does it increase the gun's range? Allow me to, like, shoot nice and far? Offers a sight increase to weapon accuracy. I wonder if there's another way around. They got this light, this door locked down pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't look like it though. Looks like this might be the only way through. Windows, maybe? I didn't check the windows. Ah. Portable EMP, we need that in Ghost Recon no like way I'm ASAP. I don't know how they spotted me, though. I can see Robertson's system from here. Talk to me, Grim. Good. Now think about making this room a hostile environment for uninvited guests. I might need you to be on that system for a while, and I don't want you interrupted. Remote detonation mines should do the trick. So we got three mines. Okay, sir. So you can only throw one mine at a time. Can I shut all the lights off? No. Sam here. I'm looking at Robertson's system. Perfect. Can you get me a back door? Just like old times. You've got root access and a socket address. Thanks. I'm setting up a capture so I can download everything he's got. All of the EMP data is on there. A couple of analysts I trust are looking forward to seeing it. Okay, Sam. The link is active and the pipe is full. So I'm done here. Not quite. I need you to babysit this from your end. If the connection goes, I can't reestablish it from here. Now I know so, why Sam always has us standing around. Hands on this box. From what I'm seeing, that system could be used to shut down the site's connectivity. I'd be locked out and we'd be out of luck. Then I'd better get ready. Company's coming. Let's 
good grenade. We just hit sixty percent. Swap guns. This gun's not accurate enough. So I, I don't have my my mind down. Um, when I died and respawned, it, it, it's just gone. So do like this. Shit, this portal be impede. Throw that there. Say the same. 
Someone's locked a trace onto my download. I can't cut it. And if they find me, my cover's blown and so is Sarah's. Where's it coming from? Looks like inside white box. First floor. Blueprints show a large space, probably a test lab. Right, I went through it. They store their test EMP there. You might have to use it. Do whatever it takes, but cut that trace. Yes. Vic, I'm inside White Box and I need a hand. This should be good. It is. I may need to set off an EMP inside the site in order to kill a trace. How tight is this place's exterior shielding? Tighter than a drill sergeant's asshole. Everything electronic inside would be fried. Outside, not a peep. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. Crazy man. They push up so fast. And I don't have any more gear. Trying to hit that damn canister. Okay, so the good thing is the EMP grenades still kind of stun the dudes up. Should have been scared.
We might be clear. M468. Dudes that just came and looked like they were wearing paintball masks. Because they are. They're wearing paintball masks. I think I'm done here, Grim. Maybe I'll go look for this Galliard everyone's talking about. Lucius Galliard? You know him? Not directly, but let me get back to you on this. Don't go after him until I do. In the meantime, we'll have an analyst working on Robertson's data. Sam killed everybody. How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Uh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. Reminds me of Hitman, kind of, you know. Inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Oh, just like that. All right, I mean, I'm she's on. the yeah. it's the president. Like, how was she not able to come? Like, you know, I, I don't know. Have another team really? do it. In the camera booth now what you need to sync the feed from the console to me so that i can see what we're getting it should be easy to hack hang on that's it now i need you to get comfortable with those camera controls we're dealing with directional mics here high end but they're integrated with the camera focus get reed and galliard in the shot and we'll get the audio miss them and we get nothing and here they come now so what is sam like a master hacker or something Sam what get them in the frame Sam are they not in the fucking frame too much of their conversation oh these we'll two never learn what they're up to I don't know who these people look like there's fucking people everywhere and here they come now
Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Do you now? What the fuck? This is what your people want. Can the people you I represent shot, want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Come on, Stop Sam. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting... We missed too much of their conversation. We'll never learn what they're up to. And they were in they the come. fucking frame chat now. They were in the frame. Play Dragon Quest? Never even heard of that. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Do you now? Folks, I have a chance. I don't. That is, is messed up. I literally can't do anything. You need to tighten up the shot. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him. Since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. What you I and on which would explain why you're still here. So dumb. When they're, Executive overstep. When they're moving, I, it doesn't work. I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break. Yeah, there's only two Zoom levels. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything... We're done here. I'll see you when it's over. 
Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at 3rd Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put no on the table to right, get man? you to reconsider. Oh, my pride. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I am. Let me explain something, Miss Grimm's daughter. All I want from Tom Reed is for him to do his damn job. Why don't you tell him that for me? You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. He's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. Uh, they're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Uh, your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. Look pretty good to me. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them, scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. Gotcha, bro. I don't know. That's part of the plan. See? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Damn, you better run faster than this, bro. He just ducked into the VIP tent. Move it, Sam. He can't let it go. How the fuck am I supposed to do this? 
non-lethal? I don't have anything. Non-lethal force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. This guy's a cop killer. Sam. Wait. Pretty sure we gotta sneak up behind him. Bob! Bob! You gotta get a camera crew down here! Now! Where did he go? There's, there's some psycho with a, a gun down at the memorial. The cops are chasing him. I am not going out there. I want part of him. He, he's got a gun and he's killing people. Did you fail to understand? Now just get someone down here! Now! Am I tripping? Man got fucking superpowers. He's 
outside and on the move again, Sam. This man got to run out of bullets. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Everybody out! Now! I'm seeing him exit the cafe. He's headed for the parkway, Sam. He's headed for that car. Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they pulled up the shooter. And the gloves are off. We need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. My goal is to kill these guys then? I don't see Fisher. He must be close to the cafe. Watch out for that second floor. Echelon dudes are pretty whack, though. Locate the target and eliminate him. No fisher yet. Find him. He's certainly not having a coffee. No sign of him. He's got to be here somewhere. So at first, I was super worried about the echelon guys. But it seems like... Uh, just because you're Echelon doesn't mean you're Sam Fisher. Fisher. 
I don't have a fix on the hardtail. Please advise. Nobody's seen Fisher. Hurry up, guys. Reed wants to report now. this it shows you how much Sam changed even think about going after third echelon he'd been a company man loyal to the bone but now here he was ready to rip the guts out of the beast the building's weakness was in the power supply the main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage with a little c4 in the right places sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside third echelon that was good enough for sam he was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. So we gotta avoid detection. Okay, so we'll go with our 5-7. Oh, we also unlocked this little M4. I wonder if you can suppress it. You can. I wonder if we kill the cameras. The building's going into lockdown. They know you're there. It's over. Mission failed, but we failed the mission before it even fucking started. But like <laughs> It looks like we might be able to enter this way. Let's 
seems much better than what. someone slagged the backup generator in the main power truck so badly they need to be replaced. And if that's the case, we've got bigger problems. No kidding. Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you. I lost my M4. What the hell did I lose my M4? Did I just switch for it? Going into lockdown. They know you're there. It's over. What the? F I, I felt like I was way far away from that fucking camera, dude.
Sam. One thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth... It was waiting for him. Thank you guys for almost 550 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate the support. Welcome home. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. And we could have done that so much cleaner. No visual. Can't engage Fisher. Hang on the line. just sent me his location. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Got it. These guys... Playing it safe. 
I have nothing. We better find Fisher fast. Some of us have to join Colonel Reed for the main event. All clear here. No contact. Repeat, no contact. Keep an eye out. You may have more than one. Not under report. Any idea what set off the alarm? No sign of hostile. Box him in. Got you covered. Engage the target. Heavy fucking boxed in, man. I seen. Zone clear. Right here. So, so that was where we could have went before. Keep looking. No contact. Looks clear. Sam Fisher's not around for now. No signs of activity. Keep looking. Find this guy's right. Looks like trouble. All clear here. That's it, man. You're dead. It's close by. I can feel it. Yo, Sam is built so different, dude. Nothing new to report. We got contact! Hold it!
Fisher, over here. Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila! With these babies, you can see in the dark, you can see through walls, you name it. It's not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear. Vincent so Menard, JR, you them, how you doing, like brother? We'll see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is. Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. It was obviously an accident. I didn't mean to stand up there. Bobby, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Oh, Bobby says, I'm still here. When you die, your body just... Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Don't 
Searching. Mega sneaky dude. Now we're playing as Ninja Sam. Cameras, man. What's that camera made a really good distraction? Love with the super chat. Thank you so much. I don't have a visual on the target. Can anyone advise? Oh, done. Desks are locked down. This is locked down. I see what I gotta do.
Take over. Look, Reed, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me! I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Raise the security level! Do something! Nice to see you again. Look, <laughs> Fisher, I can explain! Too late, brother. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. Incited in DC, I, I helped set it up. It's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? <laughs> the president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. To paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you. Yeah? See this TV, bro? Huh? See this TV? Oh. Who can? She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Mugito's pocket. Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I think I can. I don't know if I can get him in this thing. I don't know anything about her. Fisher. Like I said, they gave me a picture. They told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Oh. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. Oh. The P90? What is our goal just to escape? Stop! Contact! Target is on the first floor! Move! Go! Go! There! Okay, so that, that was the... I think those were the hardcore guys. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing Kingmaker with a VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. Yeah. Wait, am I supposed to go a different way?
can't find Fisher or anything else around here. But be careful. The guy's badass. I like the spot because it funnels them in. Uh, DJ, I appreciate that, man. Interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with the VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. Jesus Christ. Sign of the contact. Everybody stay sharp. Better hurry up and find Fisher, gentlemen. We have to close our building. All clear. Stay alert. Got it. Mother. A 
Watch it, Victor! You better hide after what you did to Lambert! <laughs> Portable EMP didn't work. Holy shit! Richard Gold, but he still got it. He knows all the tricks. Know all the tricks, right? We gotta find a way upstairs into this hallway. They're literally sending the fucking splinter cells after me. So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there, he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I fake Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. That's fucked up, dude. The rest was Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday...
to him have like infinite all personnel. Protocol yes, infinite execute or something. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Yo, I got like infinite execute. What is he in? Sam? <laughs> Yo, he's in rage mode. Bad mash. Hey, thank you so much for the re up on the membership. Welcome back. Welcome back. Read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there now. Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Fuck me! So this is the Sam... Yo, know, this is like when Kratos... Hold up! The target isn't holding back anymore. Hey! Warning. Oh, Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. So now Sam knew everything. Knew that the best friend he'd murdered had betrayed him for the best reason in the world. Knew that the thing he'd helped Lambert build needed to be utterly destroyed. He was his own man now. And all his ties to his old life were gone. Except for Grim. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much, at least. Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was going to leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't going to abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad. Pure Sam. And I, I want to thank you, everybody, for over 600 likes on the stream. Uh, we are going to end this episode here. Now, uh, like I said, if you guys are enjoying this and you want this to continue to be a series, hey, just make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And uh, like I said, when we if we beat this one, we'll go ahead and, you know, if you guys are really enjoying the Splinter Cell content along with the, you know, Ghost Recon stuff, uh, we can go ahead and maybe even play Blacklist. But I think it's a nice little touch, you know, the stealth. I'm hoping that this makes me better at, at, at Breakpoint, you know what I mean? That That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> uh, but again, I, I do appreciate you all for hanging out. Uh, we'll be doing another... Sh we'll be streaming again, obviously, tomorrow. Uh, one of these days this weekend, I'm not exactly sure when, but I, I won't be streaming at night because uh, we're going to be going to do some stuff with the fam. I'm not exactly what sure what day. We got I got to talk with the wife. We got to figure everything out, but... Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. But, all right. Thank you, everybody, again for hanging out tonight. I, I Over 600 likes. That's absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, I do appreciate it. If you guys have it on your way out, hey, smash that like button. Uh, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, you all have a great night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.